Hey, how you doing? This is Kevin Studer from On The Porch. Um, this is the Kevin Studer channel. Hope you enjoy it. Um, I've been sharing a series of articles that affect uh, the world and should be affecting you. And I've chosen another set today. Uh, this one article called Your Money. It's a special issue of AARP this last month. And there's another one is get ready for a new job market okay so I'm 58 years old so this all applies to me how about you guys you might be in your 50s too might be in your 60s might be in your 40s 30s but anyway uh, it's a good review um, people are going to talk about their money and they're going to make some recommendations for in case you have to adjust your life in this job market and because of COVID-19 we're facing a lot here's a note by Daniel Schwab managing partner of workplace intelligence and author of back to human companies will be slower now to hire and there will be minimum pay increases for at least a year as they recover financially compensation for every job in every industry will be affected whether there's a layoff a pay cut or no bonus those who are getting paid the most however are vulnerable right now because they are big targets for pay cuts or layoffs by companies desperate to save money in order to remain afloat Companies will more than likely invest in automation technology as a way to limit their future exposure. And more firms will get comfortable with using video interviewing technology to interview candidates for jobs after realizing the cost savings, efficiency, and reach. These uh, video interviews will be much more common even coming out of the pandemic. So much remote work is in our future. Instead of on-site training, there will be webinars and virtual experiences in addition to access to online training courses. Professionals will be more open to having multiple income sources, so I see the demand for freelancing and side gigs increasing in the future. Overall, I think both employees and companies will be more conservative for many years to come, and the way generations think about money, savings, and jobs will forever change. I hope that more companies will adopt and extend paid sick leave and additional work protections. I would say more than hope that demand it. This is 2020 and most of the world has better predictions than we do and we're supposed to be the richest, most wonderful country in the world. Now I think our constitution is pretty good but I think it also needs reform. In the meantime we could do what we can progressively to make lives better and safer. Uh, Lindsay Pollock is a multi-generational generational workplace expert and author of The Remix, How to Lead and Succeed in the Multi-Generational Workplace that we're facing now. It's scary to predict things when things are unpredictable, but I do see a couple of overarching trends. Contract work will probably be the dominant story as companies work with leaner teams and rethink their budgets, meaning that they will hire more contract and fewer full-time workers for cost savings. Not good, another reason why we need health care for all. Um, that would be a huge problem. People who have no choice but to take on contract or gig work will have fewer, if any, employer benefits as a contract worker versus a full-time employee. Okay, elect progressive in 2020. That's, you absolutely need to get a progressive on the ticket, Joe Biden. Uh, one positive outcome, mentoring will take center stage. There will be a greater demand for older workers to mentor younger ones who have never faced an economic shock and difficult business environment. A lot of older professionals have more knowledge of weathering and working through disasters. If you entered the workforce less than 10 years ago, you haven't experienced a recession. Uh, this is certainly unprecedented, but I find myself relying on some of the lessons I learned after 9-11. I'm 45 and I have found myself talking to my younger colleagues about how work changed after that moment and I also how I have laid off was laid off from my first job on the dot-com bust. There's a mentoring opportunity there. Experienced workers can bring a calming influence. We can all appreciate that right now. Um, next point. For those of you who are getting ready for a new job market. Again, the government's got to do things to protect us in this market. Once the pandemic ends, a large number of older workers will need to find a new job or even a new career. And the available jobs will be moving more to telecommunicating and digital work than ever before. Here's what you can do now to prepare for the new reality of work. Number one, 
learn new digital communication platforms. Number two, polish your LinkedIn profile. Number three, police your digital identity. Number four, look for, for work from home jobs. Number five, update your resume. Nat, number six, network virtually. Number seven, learn something new. Number eight, plan to work together. Now I'll go into those more in more detail. Number one, learn new digital communication platforms. You'll likely need to get used to video interviews or meetings since communicating via video chats and file sharing will be more popular. Remote work digital training is available on sites such as LinkedIn Learning, Coursera, YouTube, and Udemy. First, try free online tutorials provided by the app developers themselves like Microsoft Teams, Slack, Zoom, and Google. Then move to collaborative apps for team projects such as Basecamp, Asana, Trello. Most are intuitive and easy to learn. I'm glad to hear that. But I could use some mentory myself. Number two, polish your LinkedIn profile. When the scramble for jobs starts, this will be your personal billboard to present yourself well to prospective employees. Add any recent awards or promotions and especially add details of any work-related skills you've learned in recent weeks and months that will make you more attractive for telecommuting jobs. Do a LinkedIn search to find contacts you might connect with at a company where you might want to work. Follow uh, ones that intrigue you. Look at profiles of others in your field to get ideas of how you might tweak your own. Number three, police your digital identity. Now that you might have some time, remove anything posted on social media that you wouldn't want employers or recruiters to see. Search your name and click on the top 10 links. You're looking at what a potential boss can see. And yes, these days, potential employers are looking at you in every digital channel. Some of this footprint is of your own creation at a minimum. You should have polished pages on LinkedIn and Facebook before, but also check out Facebook posts you're tagged in, but didn't originate. Untag yourself from anything unprofessional. Number four, look for work from home jobs. These are clearly the future. Uh, you can do this on AARP jobs uh, if you want. You can find other jobs on other sites like flexjobs, remote.co, uh, workingnomads.co, uh, WA hve.com rat race rebellion uh, these sites screen for legitimate employers that's good update your resume it's important to have a current version on hand that will allow you the flexibility to respond to sudden openings keep it short no more than two pages weave your a narrative with your car challenge action result stories think advertisement not obituary AARP res Resume Advisor offers a free expert review. That's good to know. Hmm, I'm not sure you should hold to the two-page resume for all fields. Um, if you do, you should put some uh, hyperlinks in so people can see some of your other work. That's a great way to do resumes these days. Number six, network virtually. Uh, contacts are critical in what may be a highly competitive post-coronavirus job market. So check out your contacts or increase them. Methodically extend your circle. Join online professional groups for networking on LinkedIn and Facebook. Touch base with former colleagues or classmates. Good tips. Any other tips? You can start giving them here. You can type them down below. Uh, other people can see them or you can even share some links that you think are good tips at this time in the crisis we're in and the job market we're facing. Number seven, learn something new. If you have been furloughed or out of work and waiting for things to return to normal, take time to add skills or brush up on existing ones. Take an online cl class or enroll in a course for certification. Tap into free webinars and podcasts in subjects that interest you. Hmm. Number eight, plan to work longer. If, like most Americans, your retirement accounts have taken a hit as stock markets fell during the pandemic, this may mean you'll need to work beyond your official retirement age. Factor that into your plans as you strategize for a post-coronavirus world. 
You could also take a short term, if you're at a certain age, you can take a short term um, Social Security in times of, you know, to keep your uh, emergency costs down for up to a year. And if you pay it back after that year, then you you can be out of Social Security again. It's a, it's a one jump out thing they allow for people in their 60s, uh, 62 or older. And uh, you might look into it, and that way you could decide to jump back in the market after a year of, uh, you know, planning and, and uh, learning some skills and stuff like that. And then you'd have your security. All right. Well, thank you for listening, and I hope you, uh, if you have any other suggestions, let, let other people know on this channel. Uh, thank you for uh, getting ready for a new job market. And topics about your money and how to face the future. I want to thank ARP for putting out the special um, writing uh, that I've presented a series of topics on in recent weeks. Good luck. This is 2020. Our prayers are with you and, and all the best in the job market.